Alrighty, welcome back. Jolene has hurt her back. Um, we are going to take a break to let it heal. Uh, that's the best thing to do because Jolene's in a little bit of pain, uh, actually quite a bit of pain. We want her to rest. And what we're going to do, instead of having no car content at all, she's going to play some of the top videos of 2021 or 2020, whatever, you know, whatever one she wants to play. She's going to play some reruns to give car, car content for the people that want to watch. And that those who don't, you don't have to. That's, that's fine by us. But uh, we're going to take a break. And we will be back as soon as Jolene feels all right. Peace out. I will not do anything here. I'm going to work on some other thing, other project that we have. I will not do anything here because I want to let everybody in on what I'm doing, show what, exactly what we're doing. So basically, I'm going to take a break off the shop. But I am not going to take a break because I'm going to continue on another project. And we may show you and we may not, but Jolene needs a break. Let's all give her a little break. That's what we're going to do. Alrighty, day. The day is today. Just got finished washing it down with Windex. Joan helped me a couple times to wash it down, wash it down, wash it down, wash it down. That's what we've been doing. Washing it down. One washes it, one wipes it off. And all I'm trying to do now is go around the car and get the residue off. The residue off from the primer, whatever. I use these little cloths here. Joan went and got them for me. Generally, I like to use a chamois and, and, and spray the Windex on a chamois. It'll pull the dirt off nice. I learned the chamois part from Gene Winfield. And the other part I, I, did, I learned myself from not having the product. That's how I did that. So here I am right now, just swiping it off to make sure I get all the residue off from the Windex. It looks really good. We got the floor wet, we've got it all masked, masked off. We have not got the paint mixed yet. We'll, we'll do that in front of your eyes. Um, the gun has not been put together or unpackaged. We'll do that in front of your eyes. And right now I'm just making sure all residue is off the car. Put a little seam sealer in the, in the bloody lines there, make it look a little nicer, a little tighter. You know what happens when you go into your house and you put your moldings on your house and you take a little sealer and you and you caulk them, look like a million bucks painted. If you do not caulk them, it'll not very good. Not very good. So we had to retape everything and remask everything to get the job done that we wanted to get done. So I'm just running around quick, just wiping off residue. It feels really nice. We found some scratches and then we just took the 400 and we touched them up. Did we, baby? Yep. Oh, that's good enough. I've got, got a bench on either side. I've got a, I'm only going to use one air hose. And the reason I say I tried to get, I tried to clean the filter this morning, tried to clean the air compressor this morning. The, the nozzle on the bottom of the air compressor is not, it's not drained. That there I tried to clean. I hope it's clean. I hope it, I hope it's okay. I tried to fix it, but you can still hear it. So this is where we're at. We want to paint the car. I probably should have just left it alone, but I tore it apart and did what I had to do, or what my brain told me to do anyways. Just wiping off residue. Now, we have some places where I have bare metal. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. But we're all done. We wiped it down a couple times with Windex, me and Jolene. One wash, one wipe. Hmm. Paint is mixed, or, or not mixed. Yes, we have some paint here already mixed, black. I'm gonna throw them in there because we don't want them anymore. Uh, just one second, put this back. I need it for one step, whatever that is. I'm gonna put that stuff back. So one step primer here. This is just a, a lacquer primer, just a cheap primer, but I've got a few little tiny places that have bare metal, and I don't want bare metal on, I want to put a little primer on it. So that's what this is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna come out and mix up the paint. Put 
We're going to put the gun together. I'm going to put a gun together. Just buy a cheap gun, and I do that for why not. I like to shape this very well before I go in there and hit that. We're just going to use a urethane, single stage. But what I like to do is I like to use the clear coat hardener when I use a single stage. Um, didn't have enough, but I had some paint there. Hoping we got enough there, pretty sure we should have. But the I like using the clear coat hardener for my urethane. Just makes it go a little harder. Maybe give a little more sheen. Maybe I'm not sure. As I do this, I want to try this out here. Got a good spray on there. Now I got a little bare metal showing. A little bare metal showing right here. And I just want to give it a little primer. That's it. That's it. That's it. Give it a little body fill showing there. That's it. Get some primer. We got some metal right here. Some metal right there. As long as there's a little primer on it, that's all I'm asking for. Just a little bit of primer. Across the back. Across the back here. I will not sand that at the so light that um, you're not saying that. Not putting a bunch of primer on it when I don't have to. Just enough to cover the metal. And that's it. And that's all we're going for. Just a little bit of primer. Cover the metal. Beautiful. We'll let that dry. We'll mix some paint while we let that dry. Let me sit that sit over here, I guess. So here we go. I've already had the paint shaking, so I know the paint is shooken. This is my hardener. I'm gonna take this shirt off. I need some reducer. Everything's dusty in the old body shop, eh? Big day today, Doug. Paint your car. Paint your car. I hope everybody, well, I hope it goes well. Um, uh, I hope nothing goes wrong with the filter system that I played with this morning. I hope not across the fingers. But uh, we're hoping for just a nice quick paint job. And we'll show you exactly how we do it. And that's how we do it. I'm, I'm hoping that everybody liked this process that we had to do on Doug's car to get it done. Um, everything that we done, I felt like we had to do, and everything that we done, I felt like we tried to do it as quick as possible, you know, in the in the manner that we're doing it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, in the manner that we're doing it. I'm going to mix some paint. I'm going to get, a, I'm going to get this thing going here first, done, I guess. It's a big day. I got half a sweat on. Washing the car down, half sweat on I did. That's a good thing. These are the guns here, obviously. She's brand new, she hadn't even had a spanking yet. Hadn't even had a spanking yet. I'm just gonna throw stuff on the floor. Just the time to do it, I guess. new filter in there looks good there I like all the all the material I can get this here there makes my fan bigger or smaller see that little thing there it makes me bigger or smaller screw this bad boy on I'm gonna run a little a little thing
thinner through the gun first, just to make sure there's no oils or greases in there that I don't want to deal with. I need a I need a chuck that happens every time. I don't know if I have to rip it out of something or if I have one here, I don't know. Should have one right here. No, I need a male. This is a female. Female goes in, male's on the outside. Mm -hmm. Don't know where anything is. Lucky charm, there it is. We'll get a wrench, put it on. Seems to be tight enough. That's what I do for a gun. That's exactly how I do it. And that's the end of it. That's why I spray the car with. I'm just gonna put a little thinner in the gun right now, just so if there's any, you know, packing grease or just anything that should not be in there. Looks good. Put the end on. Jolene's all dressed up like the like the Unabomber. She got clothes over her head, she's got a mask on. She's dressed. What we first did, we went in there, we washed that car down with them rags and the cleaning rags that she got us. We tried to pull all the primer out of the, all the dirt in the, out of the primer with those. We washed down Windex a couple times. I washed it, she washed it, we both washed it, and we washed it together. <laughs> yeah, right? So right now, I'm just gonna turn on the fan. I'm just gonna turn on the fan, and get this gun going, and see, and just, and just spray the thinner through it, that's all. Spray the thinner through it. We're going to use one hose, and the reason being is I've got the other hose, I don't know if I contaminated it or not. Too much pressure. That's a little sprayer at, just like that, full pressure. Hard to believe, I know. Didn't turn the fan on, did I? Seems to be working beautifully. Got my, 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 my uh, fan geared up a little better. No cords hanging around. No curved cords hanging around. Get my stuff geared up. So the gun, I, I feel like we're ready for the gun some paint in. That's why I feel the gun is ready. Um, I'm going to mix some paint now. Screwdriver. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. We want to get a we want to get a good paint job on Doug's car. That's what we want to do. We want to get a good paint job on it. And we were, you know, we're doing everything that we've done in the past. And normally, we're doing well, that old Dan Barker's pulling in. How you doing, Dan? I am. I'm in the middle of painting the car. How can I help you? Oh, uh, I was wondering if anything to get gas out of the gas tank. A laundry. No. A or something. No, I have not. Um, you got no way to drain it? No plug in the tank. No. Okay. We took that. We took that elm away from it. That was a thing. I had that Honda elm. Yeah. Cut it a tall back. And yeah. They condemned it. Yeah. They said the frame was all rotten on one side, but I, I couldn't see it. They said four little holes, and I guess it was dangerous. Okay. 
Um, I haven't got anything right now, Dan. Um, I know you can get those things that in town there, you pull the trigger and you can pump them up and take out, take gas out. You know what I mean? Like they have little suck hose on them. You never cycled any much gas in your day? <laughs> Only. Only when you had to, huh? Okay. Okay, Dan, sorry, man. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, see you on the way. Okay, okay cool. cool. Well, you'll you see us all? tonight after we paint this car. We watch you all the time. Cool. <laughs> Have a good one. I want to, I'm going to get a good get a stick and just see if that stirs nicely. I want to check that. That's a big problem sometimes. Not a big problem. It's just, it's an issue if you're not uh, being aware of your material. If it's stirred well or not, mixed well. I shook it for quite a while there. It seems to be fine. No, it doesn't, does it? That don't seem to be fine, does it? Seems like it's half. You know what I mean? Mm. What? I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to say. Hmm, that spoils my plan. plans a little bit. Looks the same way. Here we go. Here we go. I'm painting it. Seven. And we're good. One of this, so it's it's four, one to two, so we got four in the paint, one of this, and two of the reducer. And pop this off. I'm gonna hurt myself here, no doubt in my mind. And we're gonna go one hardener. Two reducer. Let's see what happens. If the paint is not, um, if the paint is not where I want it to be, um, I, I probably won't paint with this paint. I'll have to buy something. It's not where I want it to be. And that means that the paint has to be a certain thickness before I'll spray it. It has to run off that stick very nice. And. Uh, other than that, it has to be that way. Ah, that's all right. Just look thick, that's all. Look thick, that's all. Four, one, two, it's right on the can. You read it, it's right on the can. It tells you how to mix it. I've got a little a little cup here, how, how I'm mixing it. It says right on the side. Or you can get the stick that shows you. I'm nervous as a grasshopper in a chicken house. I haven't sprayed a car in whew, quite a long time, hasn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. Good and runny. Look at how shaky I am. Ooh, shaky. It's good paint. It's good paint. We're all good. Yeah, I pulled that right up to there. Okie dokie. This is where I'm going to use a filter. I'm just, I'm just kind of refreshing myself as I go over with you people. Refreshing myself. This is not something I do daily. This is something I do probably once, <laughs> once a month. No, it wouldn't even be once a month. Right over here. I do not like. Do not like. Let me go easy. 
vida. We don't want to get too much in there, so it dumps out the top of the gun. We don't want to get it too full because it half, you know, we're going to lay it over top of the roof and stuff. We don't want it to leak. I hate to say it, but I need a nervous pee. See you all later. I'll be right back. Got no mic on, so I guess it don't matter. I'll be right back. Who made it around the car or something? I have no idea. Babe's got my mask cleaned off. Please remind me if I'm doing something wrong here, babe, will ya? <laughs> I can't, it's been a while. It's been a while. And the mask is right here. Ah, so, this is what's gonna happen. I got the gun full, paint's there. Cool, I'm just gonna go and spray it and you're gonna do what you're gonna do, right? Yeah. Um, paint's getting sprayed, Doug. I'm going to get a cloth, I'm going to wipe it off.
Gun turned up quite high, but I like spraying the paint down on the car. Um, there's no, there's no texture to the car right now because I've got that paint sprayed on there. Probably just as smooth as you can get it, I guess. But can't wait that the jitters come out of me, and it probably won't happen until it's done. So I just come out here because I needed some more paint. Now I'm onto the hood and the tops of the doors. Here we go.
Is that to mix up a little paint? So, so we got the, the hood and the front fender. We got the front fender to do. Thank you, baby. Paint in there. Four, one to one, seven. Generally not what a fuller wants to do is run out between codes, but the gun has a small canister on it, and that's what prevents me from, I can get a bigger canister, I suppose. Seems to be all right. Seems to be all right. Just trying to get it stirred up so it seems, so it's right. I'm gonna go get another filter. sure what's gonna happen it's one coat it looks you know it looks good but it's one coat and uh, you know let's face it we'll see what happens um, we'll put two on it and then we'll go from there if it needs three then we'll do three whatever it needs I guess is what, what I'm saying is what we'll do What it needs is what we'll do. And right now, I'm ha happy with the texture. I'm happy everything. I'm just gonna finish that fender off. We'll come back out. What's gonna happen right now is we're just gonna hang here, hang tight. We're gonna wait for a little bit and then we're gonna go put another coat on. How much time we spent? Huh? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I might be able to get back in there and 
put another. Did you lock the door? I like locking the door because some people will just walk in and and sometimes um, it's nice for them not to walk in because we're doing something and they slam the door, affects things, you know, the wall shape, dirt flies. But anyways, it's going good right at this present moment. It's going good. Um, it's got one coat on it and I will not go back in and spray no more on it until I can touch it. And then, I'll, and then I will spray another wet coat on it. I guess I, I treat it like a spray bomb, I guess. One wet coat, let it dry. Put another wet coat on it, let it dry. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna let it dry completely so you can run it out and drive around. I'm gonna make it dry to the touch. You know what I mean? I can put my hand on it and no paint comes off on me. Um, the paint's on there smooth. I'm not worried about laying out and laying down. I've got it, I've got it laid down with the gun. <laughs> I want it to dry up a little bit and then we'll hit it again. Did you want to go and take a walk around it? Want to take a walk around it? I'm gonna put my mask on. Just take a slow walk around it. And air can generally, like, what can I say? Any, any disturbance really you don't want, so we'll be very careful as we walk around it. Time to get painting. started on the roof on this side, did I not? So I'm going to start on the roof on this side, do the roof down to the back corner, do the roof on the other side, then we'll go with the trunk lid, we'll finish the quarter panels off, and then we slide up to the front. And I did the doors on the, I just have to talk with it over with myself so I know, that's all. Here we go.
I gotta mix more paint. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I gotta mix some more paint. So I'm gonna do half of what I did before. Only half the paint. I might really wipe that off, that rag inside that. It is what it is. What did I do with my glasses? Did you leave them in there? Are they in there? You got them in your pocket. I'm in a mess. You see it? Four one to one. There's seven right there. I'll just mix it up and do what it like I did last time. Seven. Perfect. This here will make sure that I have enough paint. Probably mixing up more paint than I need. I think two coats is going to do it. Um, I am not going to fuss or muss right now because this is leftover paint that I used from another job. So I'm just going to mix it up and have enough to spray. That, that's the end of it. I'm going to mix it up and have enough to spray. I've got the hood, the cow, the two front fenders. And then I'm going to check it back over and see if it looks okay. And if it does look okay, we'll leave it. If it does not, we'll wait and do the process one more time. I do not want to build the paint up on the doors too much and down. I just don't want to build it up too much. I want it to just be paint. That's all I want. I just want it to be paint. So, first some more paint in the, the gunny poo poo. I hope you're enjoying watching putting paint on. I am, I am enjoying putting the paint on because it's getting closer. We're getting closer to having it done, aren't we, baby? Huh? Hey, it's been two weeks off and on, you know, just playing with it. Um, what I said, mean by two weeks, I'll just wash my hands for a second. It's been two weeks, an hour at a time. Have it, baby? Mm -hmm. it's been two weeks, an hour at a time, but it's going good, and uh, we're almost there. Just want to wash my hands off a little bit and go over there. That's all I want to do. I just want to wash my hands off a bit. Paint's in the gun. Put the cover back on. Now I'm just going to paint that front end. Put a
That right there is two coats. It looks mighty, mice, mighty wet and fine, don't it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Looks good, don't it? Um, so what we're going to have to do is, what we're going to do is, put this back on. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're just going to, all right, I got her now. We're just going to hold off for a little bit. We're going to wait and see what it looks like. And then if it needs another coat, I hope it does not, because that's just more material that we're laying on top of something. You know what I mean? There's more material. I think it looks good, don't you? Yeah. I think it looks nice and flat and smooth. Yep. Is that the end of the video? Yeah. If we put another coat on it, it's gonna look the same way, it's just gonna have more paint on it, and it might bridge. I think it looks good for now. I hope you had fun watching that. Got your car painted, Doug. <laughs> yeah! Duck. We don't want to come down tomorrow because we're going to peel it off and, and look at it before we give it back. Um, but we got her painted. How's that, baby? Awesome. That looks good, eh? Mm -hmm. Whew. Her nerves are all gone now. Now it's just painted. Want to go and take a look? Man, that thing's black and beautiful. Here, I'll shut the door. That's how you paint a car. Sign a note. Bad chance.